hello students so in this lecture one of the important function we are going to study is inverse function from this topic you will definitely get a question in your midterm and in your final exam inverse function always some question asks clear so before we start with the inverse function one more definition you need to study and that is called identity function identity means same clear so the identity function identity function on a set a is the function like i a such that a to a defined by i okay say i a x equals to x means if the image of every element is same clear then the function is named as identity function for example you can take here the set a you can take here the set b here it is 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 so the image of 1 is 1 image of 2 is 2 image of 3 is 3 image of 4 is 4 so every element having the same image 1 is 1 2 is 2 so this is named as identity or sometimes we call it capital i also so identity function gives always the same image understand so this is from set a to set a this is this is the identity function clear now we will move directly towards the inverse function and uh, for inverse function the first point you need to remember it is it exist means inverse of a function is possible only if it is 1 1 and on 2 that means in the previous lecture previous slide we study 1 1 and on 2 function if the function is 1 1 and on 2 then the inverse of function is possible if not 1 1 then it is not possible clear and also you look here this is a this is b this is f and this is f inverse clear so if we are talking about f so what is the domain domain is a what is the co domain co domain is b but if we are talking about f inverse what is the domain then the domain is a not a domain is b in this case because f inverse is in this direction and what is the co domain co domain is a so whenever we are taking when we are taking Uh, inverse the domain and co domain interchange with each other clear now we will study the mathematical definition of the inverse function let f b a 1 1 and on to function let f be a 1 1 and on to function from a to b 
than the inverse of f how we denoting it f power minus 1 this is the notation for f inverse f inverse clear is the function function from b to a is the function from b to a how it is such that f of f inverse x is equal to x clear and for all x must be in b remember this clear or another thing what you can do is f inverse of fx equals to also x but for all x here must be in a clear so this is the definition this is the equation that we are going to evaluate that we are going to use to find the inverse of a function we will solve three questions here you need to understand it how we are going to do it so this is example number 1 if f such that r to r defined by f x is equal to 3 x plus 1 is 1 1 and on to function by chance in this question it is given 1 1 and on to function if it is not given that we must know whether it is 1 1 or on to clear like this one 3 x plus 1 it is a linear function clear i told you if x powers are odd then it is 1 1 clear and r to r it is on to also clear find f inverse so we need to find f inverse in this question and my dear friends we will start with the same equation f of f inverse x equals to x this is the equation we will start with to evaluate inverse of a function and here let this is y always what we are considering let f inverse x equals to y we are considering it equal to y clear because we are considering it equal to y so what it will be it will be f y equals to x so this is the equation number 2 we must reach this is same whatever the question it will remain same these three lines what is the first line f of f inverse x equals to x let this is y and then it becomes f y is equal to x now look here if f x equals to 3 x plus 1 what is the value of f y replace x by y so it will be 3 y plus 1 equals to x now you need to find the value of y why because y equals to f inverse x and class so 3 y equals to x shift this plus 1 here it will be minus 1 divide by 3 this finish y equals to x plus x minus 1 upon 3 and what is the value of y it is f inverse x equals to x minus 1 upon 3 this is the inverse of this function fx equals to 3x plus 1 understand so we can evaluate inverse of any function that is 1 1 and on to let us take example another example if f x equals to what it is let us say 3 x 
power 5 plus 1. Clear? This, this is 1 1 function? Yes, of course, because here power is odd. It is 1 1 as well as 1 2. So, find f inverse x. f inverse x. So, what we will take? We will start with f of f inverse x equals to x. Let this is y. Therefore, so f this equals to y is equal to x. f y is equal to x. And what is f y? 3 y power 5 plus 1 equals to x. This is it. Got it? So, find the value of y. 3 y power 5 is equal to x minus 1. Divide by 3. So, 3 y power 5 upon 3 equals to x minus 1 upon 3. 3 cancelled, y power 5 equals to x minus 1 upon 3. Now, you need to remove this 5. How will remove? Taking fifth root. So, it is y and it is become x minus 1 upon 3 to the power 1 upon 5. And what is this y? f inverse x. So, what is the value of x inver f inverse x? It is x minus 1 upon 3 to the power 1 upon 5. This is how we are evaluating the inverse. Now, what type of question we may ask you in quiz from inverse point of view. Clear? So, we will write here if f such that r to r defined by f x equals to 7 x plus 9 then f inverse is option number a option number b option number c option number d it is x minus 7 upon 9 x minus 9 upon 7 7 x minus 9 or 9 x minus 7 upon 7 like this one anything what whatever we are making so, how you need to solve it? How you need to solve it? Same. We have f of f inverse x. We know that this identity. This is the definition of inverse. Clear? So, f of f inverse x is equal to x. Let this is y. So, what it will become? f y equals to x. Because this is y. What is the value of f y? 7y plus 9 equals to x and 7y equals to x minus 9 and y equals to x minus 9 upon 7. This is x minus 9 upon 7. This is because this is y f inverse x. Got it? Clear. Now I will ask you one question. One more question that we may ask you. If f such that r2 0 to infinite is a 1 1 function, then the domain of f inverse is. So, my question to all of you is, sorry, 1, 1 and on to function. A function f is defined by, how it is defined by? 
here it is the set of r here it is 0 to infinite clear so it is the set a it is the set b and this is defined by f clear 1 1 and on 2 that means inverse function exists so what is this for f this is the domain and this is the codomain but if i ask you now we are defining f inverse so what is for f inverse now it will become domain and it will become codomain so what was the question question was what is the domain of f inverse this is the domain so domain of f inverse is 0 to infinite this is so that's all about the inverse function next lecture we'll meet again thank you very much bye bye